Enter the sector and deploy your base. Once you have established the Tiberium Waste facility, convoys of Tiberium Waste will begin arriving. Protect the convoys at all costs. Once we have enough Tiberium Waste, the missile will be ready for use against GDI. Destroying their base, once it is infected, will be a simple matter. Reinforcements have arrived. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play CNC Tiberian Sun. I'm joined once again by... G. Kirby here. So, uh, this is the uh, alternate mission for the uh, chemical missiles. It's... Uh, well... It's, shall we say, different. Although, uh, one thing I kind of want to point out first is, during recording this, I noticed that uh, if you look at the map, uh, like the uh, mission map, the area for the uh, prison break uh, mission is actually shown as uh, in red. Like, if not, uh, like, to imply that Nod uh, actually took it over. So presumably that cyborg commander went on to wipe out the entire map after we were finished with the mission. As he should have. Yeah. So uh, for this mission, uh, there's actually quite a lot to do. Uh, because usually you just build up your base, build up your huge uh, curb stomping army and then you overrun the enemy base. For this one, uh, there's actually lots of smaller pockets of enemies spread around the map. And... Uh, so this mission is actually a pretty big deviation from the usual style because I will actually be building like smaller uh, groups of units and just going around the map right away and just clearing out enemies. Little scouting parties. Uh, I wouldn't call a dozen rocket troopers a scouting party. <laughs> Not a little one at least. <laughs> Speaking of scouting, uh, the enemy is actually pretty aggressive about attacking you, so I kind of yes, like no in advance when we we're coming down the canyon. Uh, this is actually uh, something that's really apparent in this mission in particular. Just a general problem with this game is unit sight range is really low when you compare. Uh, like it's pretty much exactly like weapon range, it's just very low compared to the terrain too, so uh, a lot of the time you will be uh, you'll be wandering around and then suddenly RPG tower out of nowhere. Construction complete. Yeah, those RPG towers. Building. Not fun to be out of nowhere. Yeah, it's really just the out of nowhere part, like, if, if you know they are there, you can just pull up artillery and just have them deal with them. So it's not a big problem, it's just, you'll be, like, advancing up a hill or something, and then, some, uh, like, you drive all your artillery up a hill and suddenly, RPG tower. Yeah. I noticed you started the mission off with some veteran units, I know we've, uh, they've been talked about before on the LP, but... This game always found the uh, the veteran units was a nice touch, and it was definitely uh, the iteration of the other the games improved it a lot. But I always thought the the implementation of it in this game was so underwhelming. Oh. They took forever to level up. And... Yeah, like, they take forever. Like I, at the end of this mission, I had some artillery units that basically wiped out uh, the entire enemy base, and like. One of them was at one, uh, like the first level of veterancy, so uh, that's a big problem. And there's also the fact that it doesn't really do much. Like I don't even know what the first level even does. Like probably just health increase or something. Right. Yeah, the the third level uh, or uh, the second level rather, it sometimes gives we uh, gives units different weapons. So like for example, the uh, attack cycle, I think it, I mentioned it in a previous episode about uh, if it gains uh, elite veterancy, it actually gets the same weapon as the Hover MLRS. Building. Which, you know, that makes sense. Right. Uh, what are the levels there? I mean, they start off with the, the two bars, the, the final level is a star. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. 
And I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that Red Alert 2 also only had the two levels, so it's only in general, so they actually got free. It might have, uh, haven't played Red Alert 2 in a while. I know, uh, when they reached Veterancy, uh, they had some pretty awesome multiple attacks. Yeah, yeah. The, f the V3 launches, I remember, and the Apocalypse tanks actually got, like, nuclear explosions on their weapons. Unit lost. Uh, the, Construction uh, complete. Gearovs, they got, like, electrical bombs, it was pretty yeah. cool. Anyway, uh, seeing as we're not really playing with the <laughs> yes. uh, in this game. Yeah, this, uh, these guys just hang around in this Tiberium field and pretty much just, they're pretty much just there to, uh, attack your harvesters. Also, there's uh, a bunch of jump jet troopers, uh, they are patrolling canyon like they'll cross over so uh, basically it's probably a good time to explain the gimmick for this map um, we don't actually get to uh, harvest any vein holes or anything this time around we uh, have to build a waste facility and once we do uh, the uh, weed eaters will spawn at the opposite side of this map and they will drive down the uh, canyon and uh, they will deliver us our uh, Tiberium veins now, uh, that's cool. Yeah, now the problem is that uh, GDI ha obviously has this whole thing fortified, cool. and uh, which is the reason why I'm moving out so early and just clearing out these little uh, pockets of uh, enemy concentrations, like like that uh, hover MLRS on the cliffside. If you uh, don't clear that out, it will fire on. The weed eater as it passes through the canyon. Building. Is there a timer on when the weed eaters appear, or is it just when you build the waste? Yeah, they start when you build the facility, and uh, after that, they pretty much uh, appear just one at a time. Like, one will uh, come in, uh, drive to your base, and uh, del deliver his uh, payload, and then he will drive off the base, the next one spawns, and so on. Oh, so it's continuous, so if uh, they die, it's not really a big deal. You get more. Yeah, it's not a big deal, I and mean, they're pretty beefy anyway. The problem is more that uh, they take a really long time to fill out even just one uh, waste facility. So, um... Uh, you're pretty much always better off to just build artillery and kill the uh, enemy base the old-fashioned way rather than waiting for the chemical missiles because those will take forever. Do the weed eaters have harvester armor? Oh, well, there is no uh, harvester armor. Well, yeah, but are they as beefy as a harvester? Typical harvester uh, is just about. Construction complete. Pretty much. Pretty much just a reskin harvester that harvests, uh, well, veins instead of to be. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, these guys, I could have marched them forward, but uh, the AI in this mission is kind of erratic. Like I had to re-record this like six or seven times at this point. To various technical difficulties, and uh, sometimes the AI you moved in too far to the east, they have a barracks there, and you attack it. Uh, sometimes they do nothing, sometimes they rush you with like a dozen disruptors. So I didn't really want to move forward too much without artillery support, right? Well, I guess that's better than a uh, predictable way. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, this mission, yeah, I did some uh, well, unusual things. Not exactly stupid, necessarily. Rather, in fact, I would say it uh, did some very good decisions, but uh, it kind of ends up uh, screwing me over in this way. Unit ready. But uh, I mean, we'll see about that. Also, as soon as you spot those civilians, artillery will start firing on them because.
because it's not. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when you have unlimited ammunition, might as well just unload on anything that moves. Can't let that RV live either. Uh, so, uh, anyway, here's what barracks. It will produce um, this for us, and they will try to rush your base and get killed by artillery. As shown but, earlier in the video. <laughs> yeah, they're not too big of a deal, it's just, uh, in this mission the AI kinda likes to attack you from two directions, and um, that can get kinda tricky sometimes, so uh, what, I like to, uh, what I like to do is advance through one direction, so my uh, assault forces will take, uh, can take on anything they send at my base before they reach there, and then just set up a defensive position at the uh, other route. Yes, sir. No problem. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, this is about the point where you usually get rushed by disruptors. Unit ready. Fortunately for me, uh, this time around the AI decided not to do anything like that. Yes, but uh, yeah, this, this section kind of goes to show the whole uh, Sight range problem I talked about earlier, and that um, like five squares, or well, okay, not five, maybe ten squares to the right of where my uh, attack force is right now is a decently sized GDI outpost, and it has RPG towers and Vulcan cannons and everything. And pretty much the only way to spot it is to is to walk right into the range of the uh, RPG tower. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, but I, yeah. I couldn't help but laughing at that uh, that mobile repair vehicle chasing that harvester around. <laughs> yeah, they tend to do that a lot. <laughs> order. They're like, no, come back, let me repair you. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yes, sir. my next mission had something really Insufficient to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They will, like with the harvesters, it just really bugs them out, like sometimes the harvesters dock to the refinery and then they'll just wait around the refinery for the harvester to undock and uh, then the harvester just drives past them, completely oblivious. On hold. Build one track mine. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, those titans... I'm not sure what those uh, titans at the base were doing. Construction complete. Just, uh, ran into the defenses, got attacked, just fuck with. We're going back home. They're like, oh shit, they've got artillery. I ain't going out there. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Also, uh. The stealth tank, uh. Um, uh, it was. I, I already uh, talked about it in the uh, previous video, but uh, one thing that's kind of interesting that I found out about it is that uh, in the game files, like um, it, uh, its stats are. Uh, also, by the way, there's a, a whole bunch of uh, GDI infantry hiding in the trees and. Uh, they were actually doing a better job than the stealth tank at it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, the stealth tank, um, what's kind of interesting is, uh, he has, uh, uh, light armor and 180 health. And for reference, the attack buggy has also light armor and, uh, 220 health. And next to the, uh, health value for the, uh, the stealth tank, there's a comment from the uh, developers, and it says that uh, the health value used to be 250. So uh, apparently, somebody at Westwood went like, Nah, no, nah, we gotta nerf this. This thing is just too beefy. <laughs> Building. I was gonna say, but the attack buggy's not invisible. Oh yeah, well, the stealth tank is not really invisible for like 90% <laughs> of the time, either. 
cannot deploy here. Yeah, I mean, you can use them for scouting, but there is just so many problems. Like, it's so easy to just accidentally drive next to a, an infantry unit simply because the sight range is so short. Especially if it's like up a hill, like here. Like, you pretty much have to drive right into the enemy's face to even see them. <laughs> Disc thrower getting nudged by it. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. <laughs> it's like, what was that? Oh, it's a stealth tank. <laughs> yeah, the stealth tank can't actually crush infantry, so that might just happen. <laughs> At least. I don't know, I mean. I remember playing CNC Renegade, and the main thing I found, uh, like, whenever I used the stealth tank in multiplayer, the thing I used it for was just crushing people. So it's really unfortunate that they don't even give you the option, because... Yeah, rocket launcher, it's not really good, and... It... It's pretty much the only offensive capability the stealth tank could have would be crushing people. And then they took many. Also, yeah, that repair vehicle. It's trying to repair that tick tank, but for some reason it's driving in the opposite direction of it. Sir. Yes, sir. Waiting oh. Yeah, when I was recording this mission and the next one, pathfinding just. Complete went completely retarded for some reason. It's pretty bad normally, but this time around it's just it's you just something special. Building. Yeah, the guy, the guy driving that repair vehicle, smartest, uh, smartest, uh, not the brightest cream. Not as an equal opportunity to employ. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, except for some reason, all their uh, characters are. Uh, I'm from Latin America or, yes, or Eastern Europe. Well, that's where they do. I mean, uh, canonically, that's where they do all their recruiting. Was in Eastern Europe? Uh, was it? Uh, I kind of remember they were pretty big in Africa and like third world countries. Right. Construction. It's kind of around that area. <laughs> uh, Africa, Eastern Europe. Same thing, right? Uh, Just also, a hop, skip, and a jump going. Yeah, also, uh, here's where all the money of the uh, AI went apparently. Just Wolverines and uh, jump jet troopers. Yeah, like, normally they put the. Uh, normally they send a lot more disruptors at you. So uh, I was kind of glad here that uh, I didn't have to deal with like six of them. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I finally built the Tiberium Waste facility just as I'm starting my assault on the enemy base. And uh, yeah, as you can see, these uh, weed eaters, they will spawn, they will drive towards your base. I didn't clear out all the uh, enemy units guarding the pass, but uh, they are pr uh, very beefy enough to just survive anyway. Yeah, it made it sound like it was just a couple of billion or infantry. Yeah, it's like infantry, some hover MLRS. And I have no idea where that guy came from. Like he's some somehow he slipped behind my entire attack force. Well considering how uh, how nearsighted they seem to be, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Unit ready. So starts the slow crawl. This is a uh, this is a tactic I like to use a lot. With, uh, <laughs> yeah, appears like try. Uh, it's like poke your head out, get shot at by RPG tower, deploy artillery, destroy RPG tower, repeat until uh, you destroy the enemy base. Yeah, and because uh, my other units aren't. Uh, 
resistant to uh, enemy fire as Reedy does, I decided to actually use a subterranean APC and just just have it shuffle uh, reinforcements between my base and uh, my attack force because I'm kind of taking the back way. Uh, there's obviously a closer uh, a closer ramp up this uh, side of a canyon, and uh, hey, we have to go there anyway because we need to destroy all the GDI buildings for this mission. But uh, I usually just end up going this way simply because I uh, I hook around to get the uh, barracks. I was gonna say you're going the back way, but this isn't Nod, so there's no. Uh easily exploitable back entrance with all the power plants, but obviously I was wrong, because they, there they are, right there. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not like destroying the power plants gets us anything, it's not like they have any laser fences or uh, <laughs> something like that. There are laser towers that don't require power anyway. <laughs> yeah, the GDI towers don't require power. Uh, I think uh, I'm not sure, like, I can't really find all the, uh, any of the old patch notes or anything, but, uh, I, my theory is that at some point, either during the development or, like, when the game was originally released, these, uh, turrets all required power to function, which is why you see just all these, uh, all these map designs where, quite obviously, you were supposed to take out a power plant and that would deactivate some turrets or something. But they changed that and so it just doesn't work at all. Also, that APC is like literally 10 meters in front of a stealth tank. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> the range of that thing, like the sight range of that thing is pitiful. Yeah. Like there's only, maybe there's really only one unit in the game that has any decent sight range at all. It's coming up the next mission, so I don't really want to say too much, but uh, yeah, the stealth tank is, is just ridiculous. Like, you know, just uh, the concept of it all, that you have to drive your artillery into the middle of the enemy base, and then just have still have guys running around just to the edges of it to be able to see the buildings. Right. Yeah, so uh, we pretty much took out most of the enemy defense at this point. Uh, also, uh, side range, uh, low side range and input lag don't go well together. And, uh, Oh, hello oh, there! No. Yeah, normally, normally the AI always only uh, builds Orca fighters, but in some cases they will build, build uh, these Orca bombers and they can really screw you over. <laughs> because, I mean, it's, uh, there just isn't really a good counter to them either, like, the only uh, anti-air unit you have is not is, uh, Rocket Troopers, and, uh, well, they don't really stand up to a single bombing run. Yeah, so, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of a big issue just in general, I think, with Nod and Orca Bombers, is that they just don't have any good anti-air defense. Yeah, and the, the artillery, they aren't beefy in the slider. One run on the... Yeah, Heroes trying to spread them out, maybe reduce the damage a bit. Because you know that one square is going to make all the difference, and of course here comes the fighters. Right after the bomber took out all my uh, rocket infantry. Right. What? Just landed. I guess it got done killing its target, and it's like, oh, here's a good <laughs> place to set down. Dead reload. Day. It does have a, a minimum amount of intelligence. <laughs> so I guess I mean, you don't even really technically have to. I guess you have to build the chemical waste facility, but you don't have to 
save any of the weed eaters. Yeah, no, yeah. Kill the base you don't. You just, you just need to build the uh, facility that's a uh, mission requirement. Also, here I'm just rushing for those helipads because uh, those things really need to go. And of course, I totally forget and uh, don't even notice that my uh, APC has arrived at 5 uh, rocket. They probably won't do much good against the bomber, so let's just take that out. Reinforcements, is that another weed eater, I'm guessing? Yeah, anytime it says reinforcements arrive, it's always a weed eater. Oh, I have to say, the uh, rocket troopers are surprisingly effective against disruptors. They just wrecked them. Wow. That was impressive. Yeah, anyway, uh, as soon as we take on the enemy base, this mission Secondary is... Objective achieved. Mission accomplished.